if you, like me, have been a skeptic of the AI content world, but you've read content, then you've probably already consumed a huge majority of AI produced content. Because the truth is, businesses are moving this way, whether we've realized it or not, and it's going to continue to be the future. So what does it mean to take AI produced content and make it better? So I've come up with a term for that AIO. We're really adapting it widely in our clients and what we do at Content at Scale. What it really means is you're gonna take the content that's produced by these tools and you're going to optimize it for the human reader because it's not enough just to take that content and paste it on a blog. For example, if you're using ChatGPT, there's going to be watermarking that is going to now happen in AI. So OpenAI is releasing this pretty soon. And if somebody copies and pastes ChatGPT content straight onto their blog, Google will know you'll never gain a ranking. So in order to achieve success with content produced by AI, you need to pass AI detection. We actually have a free tool for this at Content at Scale, and you can find other tools out there like originality.ai. So you need content to pass the bar, which is now, does this read like a robot wrote it? Or does it read like a human wrote it? That optimization piece, that O, is going to be really critical. And shifting into that is going to save, I believe, a lot of content writers' jobs because you can now become an editor and an optimizer instead of just doing all of that grunt work of content writing, which just became obsolete in 2023. It's wild, the times that we're in. So for more on AIO, what's coming and how all this is gonna shift, keep watching more videos.